What's up, guys? I'm here with Faltech Unlimited, and as you can guess, we're going to be doing a P07 with the Streamlight TLR1, and um, we're going to go to town. It is an inside the waistband with 1.5, and that's it. So no bells and whistles. Let's get it going. Well, this would go so much easier, but my tripod just broke. So, um, yeah, let's figure out another way now. And a simple fix. We're good to go. Let's get back to building. All right, we've got everything attached. We're just going to tighten this up just a little bit. Get this out of the way. And we're going to need our widgets and our flat bars. And that is it. Uh, oh, yeah, this is going to inside the waistband, so we'll need that. And this is going to be clawed. Um, so we need to get a claw for our spacing, and that's something that we definitely need to uh, remember. I can't tell you how many times that... I'd go to make a holster and I missed the fact that it said it had to be uh, clawed and I'd already drilled the holes in a different location or, and it couldn't be fixed. And one of two things happened. If I didn't catch it, I sent it out to the customer who was like, hey, I need a claw. He was like, ah, yeah, crap. So I'd take it back and make a brand new one with a claw. So I like triple read these things now. And there's number five. Mold we are using today, surprisingly, is actually a DIY mold. Um, when I bought this mold, multi-molds did not have it as an option. So I bought this many, many years ago. And it's still working just as good. I don't even know if they still offer this anymore. But... Like I said, not from them. And it's always nice that they have the, uh, the blocking for their massive safeties on those CZs. All right. And since it's right-handed, we're gonna be placing the foamy blocking on this side. There, lock that in place. And same with this side. And I like to go around. That keeps them tight and snug to the body. All right, and two things left. Well, first of all, we're gonna read this to see if we had suppressor height sights. Nope, but there is a quote on here that I do want to say. If you've ordered from my website, you know that there's a special notes section for, you know, comments and such like that. Well, this guy, he put the best quote I have ever read. It says, uh, the dream is free, the hustle's not included. So, guys, remember that. And to uh, Mr. Paz, yeah, you're damn right. All right, so I'm going to flip it over to the other side and uh, figure out, let's see. And we're going to be right there. So we're going to need blocking underneath. So that's just going to be, see if that's too tall. That actually looks pretty good to me. And spacing looks good. And from experience, get the blocking underneath. Get that locked down first because you're going to go pick it up. And then the whole damn thing will move on you. Or as in... You got this blocking down, and you go to put it in the press, and the blocking falls off. Or not falls off, but the support underneath it falls out. And then you're just SOL, because you, you got hot kydex in your hand, and you need to fix your mold real quick. Been there, done that way too many times. And 
because uh, it's a 1.5 foamy, we're going to grab our 1.5 foamy. And you know, I like to put something over here for uh, the clip to be able to grab onto. Right there looks pretty good. All right, next is just the retention plate. Good thing about it being finally, uh, you know, summer here is the fact that it's 70 degrees in the shop. So my foam is not freezing and it's not rock hard, but I still have it on top of my press. Uh, press is going. I got 70 seconds left. The Battleship Gray, I believe it was, is going in there. Actually, it's already in there. And uh, as soon as that comes out, we're going to sandwich it between two layers of foam on the bottom and the top because this is a thick boy. Stay home if you're sick. Come over if you're thick. Anyways, so uh, we'll pop that in there and um, we'll see what it looks like when, uh, when it pops out. And then I have to um, go to work shortly after, <laughs> shortly, shortly after I'm going to work for someone else for a little bit to help them out. And uh, but I still got a couple of uh, these builds over here and these builds right here that are all coming up. And I just can't wait. The day I catch up is the day I'm going to scream and be super happy. And I'm going to do that on this channel so you guys can enjoy the happiness with me. Now, luckily, uh, during the summertime, orders always slow down because everybody's out enjoying the weather and doing their family stuff and everything. So for me right now, this is fantastic because for every one order coming in, I got like five to 10 orders going out, which is absolutely amazing. This gives me a chance to catch up. So I am hoping, um, you know, It'll be soon. So in all reality, if I do five to 10 orders a day, I got about a month to a month and a half on my plate. Uh, but there's also obviously store orders coming in and all that stuff. This is just online stuff. But uh, ooh, three seconds. Here we go. A few moments later. Okay, it's out of the press. How good does that look? Looks pretty damn good. Bam. So we already pulled off all the blocking. Let's go ahead put everything where it needs to go, drill the holes we need, cut it, sand it, prep it, put all the hardware in, and send it out the door. And then I gotta go. All right, so you saw me earlier. I did grab a claw, because I need it. And what we're also gonna do is we're gonna grab one of our pencils. And this is going to allow us to see where the claw needs to be, because we want the head to be in between here and here. So we'll place it right there. And we'll hold that and square it up. And that's where our retention is going to be, which is perfect because when I build these, um, so actually let's do this. When I do these on foam press, my retention is right here and it's always amazing. On the pale horse molds and a lot of the vacuum molds, the retention is right here and they're hit or miss. Uh, if we put retention underneath the bezel, it is absolutely awesome. So if you see here, uh, you can't really see it on this side, but on this side, you can see a little dimple right there. I think this retention is going to be absolutely perfect. Um, but we are going to go ahead and line this back up. Trace where our trigger guard is. And then we are going to figure out the shape that we want to do. chamber is our chamber is right there oh which is perfect like that and we'll come down now you have two choices with this you can go flush with the light or you could go down more now this is inside the waistband so I'm actually gonna go flush with the light come out just a little bit and then bring that off. I'll come up a little and then hit it like so instead of going all the way up because inside the waistband, this is going to have a lot of, um, well, it's going to be in your pants, so it'll be above your boys. So let's do that. Drilled and next step is going to be to cut it on our bandsaw. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that. When you're at the bezel, yeah, you could always take away more, more material, but you can't add it. So cut on the outside of the line and then sand it to it. 
when you cut it, you don't want the bezel showing because if you bend over and your skin pushes the flashlight, it could pop out. And obviously you don't want that. So cut on the outside and sand in. All right, so here it is, cut and drilled. I have not cleaned it yet, but this is like I was saying, cut in front of it, sand to it. And uh, you know, if you want to keep going back and forth on this, I'm also gonna even this up so it's all the same. And um, yeah, I am, <laughs> this is gonna be nice. We'll see. All right, and just gonna give this a quick scrub because I forgot to do that off camera, but everything is drilled, cleaned. All the edges are done, holes uh, reamed, and oh yeah, who doesn't like reaming holes? Anyways, all right, so uh, it's gonna be right-handed, and I always they always leave my shop with the smaller one, so we'll throw this on here. And I will show you again how I mount these. So that the claw doesn't move. This is a one eighth um, pass through. And then we're gonna throw those on here. And this is three quarters of an inch. So three quarter bolt. Don't tighten it. And then I'll square it up. Then tighten it. Right now, huh, I'm gonna get my bushings. They are flathead handy, and these are gonna go inside like so. And then these are 3 sixteenths. I usually use a quarter, but on these ones I use 3 sixteenths. That way uh, there's plenty of room to tighten it all up. Because if I use quarter inch, chances are it'll bottom out against the pass-through. So by using 3 sixteenths, works better there we go all right and then get it to a good point check the retention and then adjust accordingly uh, where'd I put my mold We're going to loosen that up just a hair. Oh, yeah. All right. And we will add our foamy. I know some people ask why I use the metal ones over the uh, injection molded ones. Now, many years ago, like seven years ago, I had three holsters come back in one month because they broke them. And I didn't mean they broke the holster themselves. They broke the clip. As they were bending it to go over their belt, they sheared it clean off. And it broke right at this bend. So from then on, I started getting metal. Now these metal ones are 20 cents more than the foamy ones. So really, that security helped out a lot. But anyways, here is PO7 with TLR1 and you can see the flashlight doesn't extend past oh, I'm gonna clean that burr doesn't extend past the uh, the holster so there's no way when you bend over it's gonna it's gonna pull out and uh, yeah there's another one under the belt and this one's going to Texas oh hell yeah and as always I appreciate all of you for watching this video and hopefully you learned a thing or two on how to do a light bearing IWB with the claw. Again, everything in this video is from holstersmith.com or knifekits.com, same companies. So if you're wondering where I got everything and, and what I use, straight from them. So tell them I sent you. Love you, bye.